Hi guys, welcome back to IT Investigators. I'm Editor, and today we have... Uh... Wait, <laughs> cut! What was it? What's your name? <laughs> did, we, did we all forget? <laughs> oh God. What's your name? Editor? No, no, that's me. Editor... No, you changed already. Director. No. Director? No, 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 no. no, no. Phot photographer. Photographer. No, engineer, engineer, engineer. Ah, okay, okay, engineer, engineer. Okay, engineer, engineer. <laughs> okay, take two. Hi guys, welcome back to IT Investigators. I'm Editor, and today with me we have... Uh, uh, hi, I am Engineer. <laughs> Just as what everyone expects from a typical IT engineer. Oh my god. Wait, you... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you help introduce me. Aya! It was, it was humor, bro, for the video. Yeah, yeah, it was supposed yeah. to be humor for the video. Okay. Never mind. Take 3! Hi guys, welcome back to IT Investigators. I'm Editor, and today we have... Engineer. Okay, today we'll be talking about... One of the many reasons why humans are so different from other human beings. Other animals, I mean. Do you know why? Why? Because got you, ah. No. Holding down average IQ of human. Mm. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! I I'm offended, but yeah. No. Surprisingly, it's not due to our... It's mostly due to the fact that we have so many tools. Like, I'm sure you can name a few right now. Like, the clothes we're wearing are tools. The shoes we always wear are tools. Shifu's watch is a tool. And even our phones are considered tools. I mean, we have chimpanzees who use simple tools like, maybe, sticks to like, chisel out animals from the chisel out the, the ants from the wood. But honestly, I've always wondered, how did we start off with tools? Do you know? I'm not sure. I think it's from the... Stone Age. Stone Age. Yeah, it was from the Stone Age. But Stone Age, it was such a long period. It was like 3.4 million years of like history. So I'll first start off with like the Ice Age, which is what I like to call it, where humans started to move around during like the Pleasestone era. So during the Ice Age, where mammals and saber-toothed tigers still roamed the world, humans, of course, we had nothing. We were just naked animals with no fur. You see, I have no fur. Only got sweat glands. That's what makes me so different. But yeah, so humans had to adapt somehow to become the apex predator, or simply to just even survive like such a brutal, harsh landscape. So humans resorted to making tools to surviving and thriving in their natural habitat. So one example would be bows. Like you know, right now humans don't really use bows, we use guns, right? And now bows are usually used more of a like an ornamental thing. Like they were like these artisan uh, crafters will just hand chisel the bows. But back then humans just simply made bows using flexible wood and the string with vines they would just do make themselves. Then arrowheads were pretty simple. They will either use flint or obsidian to make the arrowheads, and for the shaft, they will just use a long stick. Sounds like Minecraft. Yeah, it really <laughs> does sound like Minecraft, but <laughs> Minecraft, you don't need to shape the flint into the shape you want, it's really flint shape. But yeah, and then they even make clothes and pants using the fur of the animals they killed, such as the woolly mammoth, Save the saber tooth tigers also. Then they use it as trophies. And the most amazing thing is, they even tamed the dire wolves, which were like, the biggest wolves ever in the world <gasps> back then and they made them into man's best friend. How? Simply because they captured the babies, fed them food, made them think, oh, I like human, human good. The sea of grr 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 growling, it becomes, yes, human, good. So basically they enslaved the entire race. Oh, so it's like the, I will, I will fight for you. <laughs> <laughs> What oh, do you mean enslave? Because socialize. No, I think I think it's, this is the what the proper term is like, This is like taming, right? Socialize. Taming. Socialize. Uh, like how peaceful socialize negotiations. Exactly. Integrate them into our society. <laughs> <laughs> integration. Uh, <laughs> gentle and non-harmful and non-forceful integration. To create a harmonious society. But during that period, it wasn't just humans using tools. It was also our ancestors. Our uh, primate ancestors such as the Australopithecus and Paranthropus who use tools as well but not to the extent as humans would 
and just but however the smelting of ores marked the end of the Stone Age era and the start of the Bronze Age between 6000 and 2, 2500 BC. The first evidence of metallurgy, which is basically melting metal to make a like maybe beads or like maybe a simple trinket, was found in Serbia in the Runa Glava mine in the form of Otzi the Iceman. Have you guys heard of Otzi the Iceman? It was, it was a pretty monumental find. Science. No. No. Like basically it was like this mummy, not even an Egyptian mummy, just a naturally preserved mummy mummy. Because he was preserved in like a bog. Mm. He was found in like this mine and he was found with surprisingly a flint knife and a copper axe. Which is quite surprising because he was still from the Stone Age where they hadn't started proper metallurgy yet. I see. That's mm. interesting. Yeah. And the Bronze Age Bronze Age dated from 13,300 BC to 120... Wait, how do you even say it? Uh? I'm honestly quite confused. 3300 BC. The, 3300 BC? Yeah. 3, 3, 3300 BC. It sounds very yeah. long though. But yeah, I mean, you already have BC behind. Uh. 3300 BC and 1200 BC. Now, bronze was one of the first alloys humans had created. And it was quite simple because it was a mix of copper and I and tin or arsenic, although it's quite surprising they use arsenic. Of all materials they use arsenic. Really? I thought yeah. it was like nine parts copper, one part tin. No, they use arsenic as a alternative to tin. Okay, that's, oh. a, that, that's a very interesting okay. alternative. You see all these people are the chem cannot make you. Ah I know. Poison damage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but also they, they might inflict it themselves, so. But yeah. Because it was an alloy, it was harder and more durable than pure metal, which is quite obvious. This made it much more in demand as like iron, which was much more abundant, it was just more malleable. So like if you were to swing like two, an iron sword and a bronze sword, the iron sword would just bend, or maybe it would like so called cut like butter. The irony, you know. <laughs> yeah, like I was saying, although iron was much more common, it was harder to melt with a melting point of around. 1,533 Celsius or 2,800 Fahrenheit for you, uh, American in cells. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! Compared to tin and copper, with the highest MP of the two being around 1,885 Celsius or 1,985 Fahrenheit. But one of the first civilizations was a Meso Mesopotamian civilization of summer making weapons such as spears and sickle swords and also making farming a viable thing for uh, the stone age, the bronze age because back then they were all hunter-gatherers. Egypt was also another one of the most well-known civilizations. I'm sure everyone here has heard of Egypt. So they were very well known and with their culture flourishing due to the bronze age. Like, I mean, the pharaohs were so rich like the pyramids was once said to be were plated with gold and they Spent like, I don't know how many years with like thousands or maybe tens of thousands of slaves building the pyramids brick by brick, not even with modern tech. Can you imagine? Like, yeah. Maybe one brick of the pyramid was like the size of this mm -hmm. room. Which one was brick this was one, around one ton and heavier. You know, it's actually amazing you know, about how the pyramid was built. There's so much myth associated. Yeah, and there's like our people were saying, people were aliens saying, transported. But these bricks. You know, it's coordinates. It's also a special number. Mm. Yeah, but I'll talk about it next yeah, time. Yeah, it's quite <laughs> interesting actually. Uh, yeah, but I must understand uh, there was no gravity then because Isaac Newton had discovered it. So, no problem on the bricks. Invented it. <laughs> then there was no such thing as hunger, right? Because, oh, there was infinite food. Right? Because there are more animals. Anyways, Egypt made many inventions, such as the plow. The plow is basically a farming tool. Grain mills to grind like rice mills into something which could be edible. Levers, which are like so important because levers are like the pit, like one of the most important things in engineering. And many more. But Greece is another another civilization. I'm sure everyone here knows of Greece through like their mythology like Zeus, Poseidon, Hades. I know I know it through some of your oily or oily and disgusting food that you make. Right? It's Greece, 
Anyways, many renowned philosophers and mathematicians of well from Greece also, Why? such as Pythagoras. Pythagoras. Mm -hmm. so that question is not how to use? It's, 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 it's quite, it's quite, it's quite okay. Philosophers and mathematicians from Greece. And without them, I don't think humanity would have been as advanced as we are now. Wait. Greece also invented a sundial, which is the most ancient form, one of the most ancient forms of a clock. The first robot, the first robot, it was like between 3300 BC and 1200 Wait. BC. Yeah, the first robot is called the Automatic Servant of Philon. I'm assuming Philon is one of the gods' name. I mean, it's pretty cool though. The first alarm clock, and one of the most primitive steam engines ever. I mean, even China contributed to one of man's greatest double-edged swords. Can you guess what it is? I'm, what sure, is it? I'm sure photographer knows already. What? What, am I supposed to know? Yeah. What is it? Gun oh, okay, oh. okay. Unsurprising. Yeah. However, contrary to this, the most important invention during the Bronze Age wasn't any of these. It wasn't the alarm clock, it wasn't the first robot, it wasn't the grain mill, it wasn't the lever, it wasn't even gunpowder. Can you guess what it was? It was it's something we use every day in life. It's, no, it's essential for transportation. Wheel? Yeah, the wheel. It was the most important thing. A simple circle shape was the most important invention. I know you like IQ, right? But you know, a wheel is more than just a circle. Yeah, right? but I mean like... Yeah, I, know, shape, I know you have no shape, IQ. The shape-wise, I know. But yeah, after this, we have the Iron Age. The Iron Age begins when production of iron and steel advances to the point where bronze weapons are just replaced. So and this place got stolen and by steel. I need to steal myself out for these kinds of bullshit today. Uh. Yeah, but they were just replaced by iron weapons. One great example would be the Assyrian Empire, which was the most successful civilization during this period, which conquered all their neighbors successfully, which was mostly due to their ability to offer their troops with iron weaponry and armor, and also because all they, all they knew was war. But some notable inventions they created were the scale armor, which was quite revolutionary because scale armor is they use less of the same material but it covers the same body the same body uh, area and it also protects more and it's lighter also rudders to steer boats the water wheel and the alphabet and I think without the alphabet languages languages simply don't exist without the alphabet Google won't exist too <sighs> do you get it? Of course he does, he's not you. Because Chan's face was so blank. Inner peace. Anyways, skipping ahead 2000 plus years later, it, we, have a, we have reached the Industrial Revolution, where man started to automate many of the activities, such as the steam engine, the aircraft, electricity, and many more. Trains, cars, buses, and airplanes also replaced and improved on our means of transport, because like back then it was what? Giddy up, horsey! They ride right across like, a state for like, what? Three hours, three months? They will barely reach the place when, if you take that thing, three hours. Like, even the tools we use today are, as simple as it is, help make our lives so much more convenient, and I don't think any of us would live without these tools, such as shoes. Can I imagine walking without shoes? Are we not doing that right now? Walking outside on asphalt. Uh, Could you imagine? Could you imagine running on like a track without shoes? I mean, yeah. it's still doable, but right. just... All that's key, no. Yeah. Like, earphones also. Making our music portable and private. Like, last time you just had to blast your music around. Yeah. Like, now you can just put over your ears. No one knows what you're listening to. You could be listening to, like, what? Uh, vegetable munching sounds. And no one would know. They would think, oh, he's listening to rap. I like it. Even phones, which make almost everything so much more convenient. Playing games. Communication, entertainment, uh, but I think the most, the best tool we have at our disposal right now is the internet. Yeah. Replace almost everything we have right now. Communications, 
information like books. We don't even need a book anymore. We can just Google search. Oh, uh, pirated book for free. Uh, don't 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 do this at home. Don't do this at home, kids. Pirated books for free. And even emails, you can just send like instantaneously. Last time, if you send a letter from Singapore to London to your beloved sweetheart, uh, dear John. I, I have sorely missed you. Shut up, I, shut up. I'm not interested in your love letter. Move yeah, on. basically, because you'll go back and forth, you'll take like six months more to get a reply. And the reply could be done in like, what, an hour? And now, they just send a text message. Yo, hey, what's up? I miss you. And like, what? That's one second. Which I find is amazing. Because it makes life so much more simple. Even yeah. if we move, even if we, the Wi Fi speed drops by one bar, we start complaining like, Oh, life is in there's impending doom occurring. <laughs> I'm sure you can agree with us, you and your beloved, right? No. <laughs> still single here. <laughs> no, still single here. Stop. Sure. Stop. Sure. Anyways, humanity was able to advance this much due to our innovation and also laziness because, like, we're okay. so lazy, you just want to have a shortcut to everything, so we just innovated the best. That's you. Human. Okay, that's you, not us, not we. Okay? That's but you. you have to admit, you will also take a shortcut if you have the same result in the end. Will you take a long cut if, if there's a shortcut? Because I'm not you, so I will take the shortcut. I also will take the shortcut. Oh, surprisingly, you will bring Yeah, that's what I just said, my guy. I resulted in all these tools for us to do. But for me, for me personally, I think the sword was the most important tool created us. It only, like back then in the Bronze and Stone Age, it only let the strong civilization survive. Because of this, we have all these wonderful inventions like gunpowder, the wheel, the sundial, and many more. But what do you guys think is the most important invention? Mm, I think the wheel was important. Because I mean, it's yeah, really revolutionized a lot of things. You? I think words and languages. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Knowledge is a very important, especially the transference of it. But I think that, honestly, for that point, right, I think they, it's natural because like, even animals have a way they communicate with each other. So About but, communication, I'll talk about it next time. I, I mean, there's so many examples like how, you know, like Ting Su Wang, uh, the Yellow Emperor. Just yeah. an interesting phenomenon. Huh? You know, if a child right, doesn't learn how to speak before five years old, there's a high chance that the child cannot speak for the rest of his oh, life. Oh, it's like those no. feral kids, right? Sometimes yeah. they... Yeah. You see, so language is an interesting thing, especially in relates to how human brains are programmed. That's true. So I'll talk about that yeah. next time. So now that we've shared out what we think is the most important, what do you guys think is the most important tool man has made? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, and see you guys next week for the next episode of IT Investigators. Bye-bye.